I love lamb, and we're going to do a coriander crusted lamb wrap for you. This is a really sensational dish, great for a dinner party, or even good on the barbecue. Using fresh coriander here is probably a better option. If you don't have the time or a mortar and pestle, you can use the pre-ground stuff as well. I'm going to grind this down. We're going to keep it coarse, provide a little bit of texture to the, to the dish. We just want to basically break all those seeds in half. Now normally on a, on a spice dish you would pre-roast your spices. It's not necessary on this one because we're going to roast it when it goes into the pan anyway. So our seeds are nicely ground down. And we're going to get into the rest of the marinade which is more of our spices, garlic, of course the zest and juice of one lemon. course, some thyme. Just chop the, the woody parts off, the rest of the stalks are fine. They're, they're tender enough to eat and we're going to chop it nice and fine anyway. Again, hold the, the thyme in a nice bundle in your hand, nice and tight. And we'll just allow you to chop through that thyme in a much easier fashion. So our marinade now. Good bit of olive oil into it. And this is going to form a really nice crust onto our lamb. As much or a little pepper as you want. And what we've done here is made it into like a paste, which will allow us to really stick it onto that lamb. And we're going to spread this on like a Nice paste. See this lamb, it's, it's beautiful lamb. Lots of nice fatty characteristics on it. Really give it a good push. I'm trying to help it stick on to the lamb now. So that when it comes out, it'll all be on there. And it's gonna provide a really nice fragrance right through the meat of the lamb. So we have medium hot pan here. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And when you put the lamb down, place it away from yourself so that if any oil splashes, it doesn't splash back on you. And as soon as that hits the pan, you can really get those fragrance from the coriander. It really comes straight out. Wonderful smell. Swift that crust. It does start to come off a little bit. Just put it back on. And we'll get this into the oven. So our lamb's been out of the oven for about 10 minutes now. I covered it with a bit of foil just to allow it to rest. That just holds a bit of the heat in there. Now resting is very important. If we don't rest it, the juices are gonna come running out as soon as we cut into that. By resting it, all the juices will relax back into the meat and it'll stay nice and moist. So we've kept our lamb nice and pink. Now, one thing about meat that a lot of people don't know is there's no blood in it. So when we get a lot in the restaurant, people going, I don't want any blood in my meat. The reality is there's no blood in it. It's been bled. So this is all about the color of the meat. We've kept it nice and pink. Of course, if you want it more done, leave it in the oven a bit longer. So we're gonna carve. Have a look at the back of the meat. You can see the way the bones run. So the best way to do this is to cut on the angle of those bones. So our lamb is lovely and pink, just the way I like it. I'm just going to finish it. A little bit of oregano. Oregano and lamb are great friends. And this would go fantastic with a lovely glass of Shiraz.